a public interested question. There is no newly reported cases, confirmed cases, the asymptomatic cases. There is a one new cases from the other countries imported and one asymptomatic cases imported as well. So far, the situation in Beijing is complex and intricate. Omicron is the a prevailing variant with the feature of high transmissivity, which bring the higher risks and also the more pressure to us. And the Winter Olympic Games is around the corner. We need to build a strong wall against the virus imported from other countries and also from the infection locally and make sure we take matters not only on the human-to-human -human transmission and also on the object transmission. So we can do a solid work in protecting the health and safety of Beijing, of Winter Olympic Games, and also the people here in Beijing. In order to make an early effort, we work with other authorities to adjust the transportation requirements. For people coming into Beijing or leaving Beijing, they need to receive a valid NAT test result within 48 hours, and also their health code should be green. And also starting from January 12th to the end of March, anyone who entering to Beijing or leaving Beijing, they need to follow strict adjustment. And the a Beijing House Court, based on the NAT database, We'll do the comparison. If people not get the NAT in a valid time frame, and they will pop up a, a alarm. And if you not hold the a valid NAT certificate, then you are not allowed to enter or leave. And also, please report to the a local authority and also be cooperative in COVID-19 containment efforts. If not report yourself proactively or not cooperate, then you will be held accountable according to law. So far, 316 and 80 booths and 44 and 80 booths available 40. 24 hours available here in Beijing, and they will be adjusted dynamically. Make sure that we cover the a whole population and also expand the service hour. And also, the a digital map will be also available online so people can check the a nearby booths. So, people will be tested if they need it. So, for anyone, if you have planned to get Test it. Please check the official account to book appointment so you can save more time. And also, we will not see a mass gathering. So we will pitch in to protect the health and safety of our home. Today, invite the a relevant authorities here to give you updated information. Mr. Liang from the Beijing Health Commission. Liao Lingzhu from the Beijing Post Office. Lin Hang from Haidian District. And Madame Pang Xinghuo from Beijing CDC. Now, first, I give the floor to Madame Pang. To give you the updated information regarding the epidemiological investigation regarding the locally transmitted case in Beijing. Friends from the media, good morning. Let me give you the information regarding the one confirmed locally transmitted case in Haidin District. On January 15th, there is one reported case locally transmitted. So far, there is no newly reported cases. Based on the epidemiological investigation and also the a check work of the environment, and also the gene sequencing, 
Right now, we have made some progress in epidemiological investigation. When we found the case that in the previous 14 days, there's no outside Beijing travel history, and for the, a person's day-to-day -day work, normally receive the a letters or the a mails overseas, and they show the person show the symptoms from the 13th, and also we have seen the symptom of COVID-19 on 15th. Um, based on the NAT test result and also the CT scan image, as well as the clinical symptoms. The a confirmed patient is in the early stage of the virus. And compared to the big data, and also the contact history, including imported personnel, the people from the high risk region overseas, we haven't found any the a correlation with the a travel trajectory. And so far, we have checked 18 high-risk places according to the confirmed patient's travel history in Beijing. And we also screened the high-risk group of populations. So far, we have screened all the 69 direct contacts. And their NAT test so far all show negative. 16,571 people been tested. And so far, the NAT result of people had lived together with the confirmed patients or worked with the confirmed cases all showed negative result. We only found positive environment sample results to COVID-19 variant at the a patient's home and the working place. And we also checked out the cold chain products and OD sample of products also negative. And the confirmed cases also said that the a person received the international mail and we checked the sample. So that the international sample actually sent from Canada on sevens and also transmitted from the United States and the Hong Kong and then received Hong Kong ICR are then received in the Beijing. Uh, the a person contact the package of the mail and also the a documents. The twenty-two samples of that international mail have been collected. Two from the outside of the package and the two from the inside of the package, and eight samples from the a mail letters also positive freeze out and that actually was Omicron variant. During the whole delivery time, there are eight people involved besides the confirmed patient. The rest personnel, their NAT tests O negative. And we also checked the a mail from the a same place, five samples show the positive result. And Beijing CDC has tracked the a gene sequence. The results shows as highly identical with the Omicron variant. But it's different from the a other transmission, locally transmitted cases in China. But that's quite same to the Omicron variant detected in the United States and Japan. Based on OD's simple native results and gene sequencing, It could be possible that the variant actually transmitted from the international mail. Previously, we have detected the cases, the virus imported by cold chain 
products. And we're also seeing the, a positive case reported by delivery products because the variants can still alive under the cold temperature. Omicron triggered COVID-19 cases right now still raging around the world. So here I would like to say to all the residents, and because right now the uh, Omicron variant is transmitted fast, please pay attention and also please avoid to buy the products overseas. And also if you receive the overseas the email, please wear the gloves to open the package and please wash hands. And also make sure that you keep safe distance if you need to sign up the package by person. And please open the package at outdoor place. Don't bring the package back home or indoor. If you have to bring the package indoor, please clean the package inside and outside with alcohol and also wash your hands carefully. And also please change masks. Make sure that before you wash your hands, do not touch your mouth, eyes, and nose. And people under the a risk control measures right now they are free from these restrictions. And still, if you have the similar trajectory as the confirmed cases, please report to the nearby community center or the hotel or local CDC. And also, please stay at home and also make your temperature measured and also book your NAT test. Right now, we still face the a due pressure. And please never lower your guard against the virus and put a close eye on the de development of the virus and also make sure that we shoulder our responsibility and also protect people's safety and health. Thank you, Madam Pang Xinguo. I'll give the floor to Madam Lena to give you the update information regarding the matters in Haidin district. Friend from the media, good morning. Let me give you the a progress in the Haidin district. And we race against the clock to buy more time and also curb the spread of the virus at an early date. As of January 16, 69 close contacts have been screened out, 55 in Haidin district. And their NAT results are negative. And we will continue our efforts in epidemiological investigation and screen out close contacts and also based on the result of a genome sequencing. And we will see whether we need to screen more people out. And regarding the high risk group of personnel, on January 16, 6,700. 70 people actually involved in these trans locally transmitted cases and their NAT results are negative. And we will also adjust the a measures on high risk group personnel based on the dynamic situation. And we release information regarding COVID-19 containment efforts on our official website and account. So far, 1,976 people were identified as the A contacts based on our door to door campaign. And also, we have the A other number of people reported by themselves. Uh, regarding NAT, for high risk group of people, there are samples she tested at home. And for the A other people, their NAT is tested at the booth. We only found 18 positive results regarding the environment 
samples that's basically at the a confirmed cases home and the working place. So far, ODA NATBOOS and agencies run 24 hours. And also for the close contacts and also the general contacts, these group of people, their NAT samples actually are collected twice, we see in 48 hours. Regarding daily necessity guarantee, uh, based on WeChat and also my phone, we ask for their day-to-day -day requirement. And we actually provide the a point to point delivery to the nearby supermarket and also the a psychological counseling service also available for the elderly people living by themselves or with underlying diseases. They will be all registered. So we will provide the a care to these group of t people in need and also provide the a prescriptions if needed, and also the volunteers, the uh, people working for the uh, property assets company, and uh, they will be the people to make sure that people living in a well-protected and cared life. Going forward, we'll continue our efforts to curb the spread of the virus and also make sure that people living in the DA lockdown area, their lives were well guaranteed and we always run behind ahead the curve. Thank you, Madam Lin. I'll give the floor to Liao Lingzhu from the Postal Administration regarding the measures taken on the international postal. Now I give you information. The a Haidian case this time is related to a international mail. On January 11th, uh, the person received a document from Toronto, Canada, so that the email arrived at an Beijing International Airport, and also the a delivery companies cleaned the email and then transmitted that mail. The a confirmed case received the a package. Asked the close contact the delivery court stay at home. And also the NAT test negative, and also no positive case found uh, based on the environmental samples collected. And also the person received a booster shot as well. And also the delivery boy also right now waiting for his third test. And we also checked the environment is working place. So far, the OD samples collected negative. The courier boy received a third job, and also his colleagues. If qualified who received a booster shot. For Beijing Postal Administration always has a great importance to the a matters against COVID nineteen. We have done the following. So first, we have each public the seventh edition of the Code of Conduct regarding the international mails. So 
So for DEA places dealing with international mouths, O should be cleaned completely. So we not only clean the environment, we also clean the A parcels and also the A vehicles involved. And regarding the frontline personnel, their information all registered. Uh, their post actually quite fixed. So for the people dealing with international packages, so we're not mixed with people only deal with local deliveries. And also the A courier staff also ma managed in a closed loop manner and they also wear masks, the a gloves and also the protective glasses while working on site. Third, regarding cold chain products, we strictly follow DA requirements and regarding DA vaccines. So if people are eligible, they all receive the a vaccines. And for booster shots, we started the October last year. So far, more than 99.8% of courier boys all received their booster shots. And for all the frontline workers, they all received a regular NAT test. So they will be tested once per 21 days if there's no reported cases. But if there is one new confirmed cases in Beijing, then, then these people will be tested once per seven days. And for people dealing with international parcel, they will be tested twice per week. And for the authority, we not only educate the practitioners, we also relieve the handbook. And we also conduct the supervision work. And if we found problems, and we let them correct. For people dealing with international parcels, they need to earnestly and strictly implement the A measures in this regard. And also, the people needed to conduct the supervision work. Right now, the a Chinese New Year is around the corner, as well as the Winter Olympic Games. So we will do the following work. First, the whole industry should always ring the bell and also to be stay alert to the variant and also to shoulder their responsibility so we can build a wall of safety. And second, we need to earnestly practice the requirements in a correct manner. For the parcels from the overseas area and also from the uh, local high risk areas, they should strictly be checked. And for the uh, postal administration, we we'll work with the Health Commission and CDC to relieve the a standards so people can follow that standard to deal with the imported parcels from other countries. And also make sure that we focus both on the a human being as well as the objects uh, for people and their temperature should be checked daily and also their the a health condition should be reported daily as well. And also when people to perform their work by sending deliveries and make sure that they always follow that the wearing masks and also keeping a safe distance. And 
I would like to hear to call on everyone. If not necessary, please do not buy products from the locally high-risk places or the overseas areas. And if you receive deliveries, please wear a mask, protect yourself well, and also always clean the outside of packages, especially for the international mail. Please also clean the inside of the package and also always wash your hands after opening the package. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Liao. Now I give the floor to Mr. Li from Beijing Health Commission to brief you the feature of Omicron variant. Firms from the media, as of 24 o'clock yesterday, 15 confirmed cases hospitalized in Ditan, one locally transmitted cases, 14 is the case is imported, eight mild, three the, a moderate case, and the three asymptomatic cases. Omicron-related patients, nine. And six out of that nine cases were hospitalized in Ditan Hospital. For confirmed Omicron-related case, We put a very close eye on the development stage of the a disease and also the CT scan result. So Delta-related case and Omicron-related cases, so far their clinical symptoms are quite similar. And Omicron cases showed the mild symptoms as well as in reflected in their CT scan results, but uh, Omicron with high transmissivity. So in order to avoid close infection inside the hospital, the Dita Hospital not only focus on treating patients and also for the Omicron-related patients actually hospitalized in a separate ward away from other COVID-19-related cases. And the Dita Hospital also have the plan in place, make sure they will do a good job in also management and also make sure there's no close infection happened. And they also have the plan to further detail the planning of the words. Right now we found a locally transmitted Omicron related confirmed case. And we have effectively dealt with the case, and in a very short time, we have finished the work regarding the epidemiological investigation and for the travel history all related to places all under monetary. And when we reveal these cases, we should give the credit to the a person's company because the working company actually found the a patients at a, the a early date because the company required the patient to have the a valid NIT result. And also we need to give a plus to the confirmed cases because that person actually reported her symptoms and be, a sh oh, shoulder their responsibility and also practice the measures of the COVID-19 control. So because of their the a practice, they buy a lot of time this round. So they should receive a round of applause. Right now, the spring festival is around the corner. We will see the a travel rush. And also on top of that, we will welcome the opening of the Winter Olympic Games in Beijing. So we should never lower our guard. And we should always practice the COVID-19 control and the prevention measures. And here I would like to call on everyone that please always ring your bell against the COVID-19 and also protect yourself well. So we should follow the a practice. Uh, wearing masks is the very effective way to keep yourself away from the virus. The same for Omicron. Even though you may finish all the three shots of vaccines, you still need to wear masks in a correct way and also wash your hands frequently and 
if not necessary, please do not buy products from overseas. And also, please to do the ventilation at a regular the, a basis and also keep social distance and also get your temperature always checked and measured and do not conduct a public gathering. If not necessary, we not encourage people to conduct the big party or the, a large-scale event. And for the event should be short, and if not necessary, then we not recommend people to conduct the event indoor. And also, we recommend people to celebrate Chinese New Year in Beijing. And oh, if you have to go, please always put a close eye on your destination places. And also, right now we have seen the adverse situation is quite raging around the world. So if not necessary, do not do traveling or a business trip or the, the other travel to the high risk places around the world. And also, if you have to go, please always wear masks and protect yourself well. And if you come from a place with confirmed case, please always know the requirements entering to Beijing ahead of your departure. And also, for the vaccination, we also recommend people to be vaccinated. And right now, we focus on the work of the ask people from age 3 to 16 to be vaccinated. And during the spring holidays, we, the vaccination service is also available. Please always put a close eye on yourself and your family members' health condition, especially when you finish your trip back to Beijing and keep an even closer eye to your health condition. If you show symptoms such as a high fever, or the a running nose, the a sore on the throat, or fatigue, or anything related to the COVID-19 lack symptoms, please stay at home. Do not take public transportation. Do not gather in the public area, and also do not hail taxis. And please visit the nearby clinic and for NIT test as well as the NIT the epidemiological investigation. And also please inform the doctors regarding your travel history about your symptoms and do not buy prescription by yourself. Thank you very much. Now the floor is open. Please identify yourself before raising questions. If there's no question, then that's the end of today's press conference. Thank you all.